Well, uh, many of you know that Jordan and I both are uh, in new homes, so we're all about homes and, and beautifying our space. And when we think of a lawn, many of us may picture a flat surface with lush green grass, but that's not the reality for every homeowner. Yep, that's right. And if you have a steep drop-off or may live near water, you may find the need to build a retaining wall. And it's important for holding the earth in place and also a nice fit. And you also want it to look really good, too. Yes, of course. So Terry caught up with Chuck Veenstra at Landscape Impressions, who transformed a crumbling 20-year-old retaining wall into a beautiful landscape feature. Okay, today we're talking about a retaining wall that, let's just say, has uh, maybe outlived its purpose. We're here with Chuck Veenstra from Landscape Impressions, and one of the great services that you provide an area of expertise is creating beautiful and functional retaining walls. Tell us what you're going to do here. Right, we do a lot of retaining wall work, and this is somewhat typical of what we run across. The homeowner built these walls 20 plus years ago out of timber, and they're rotting away. They served their lifetime, so it's time to replace them. So they came to us and asked us for ideas on, well, what can we do with this? Uh, we start with a sketch, we sketch it out, and put some pricing on it, and it, and it turns into, you know, a new project. You know, and it's interesting because you talk about, um, I mean, this home is just beautifully situated. It's a wooded lot. They have a great backyard, but because of the difference in terrain, they really are in a lot situation where they really need to have a retaining wall. Right. A lot of times you like to say, well, can you get by without having it? But this is one of those situations, the way the siding cuts down on the sides of the house to protect that, to protect patios, things like that, it has to have retaining walls. And the beauty of this one is we're going to be putting in the decorative block walls. So when this is done, the homeowner will never have to worry about it again. It's it's once and done, and then it's good for the next homeowner. So how is that going to look? Describe it, the kind of the, the transformation that we're going to see here? Well, it's it's going to be, you know, we have to deal with the grade that's here. So we have to come out to certain points of the house, but we don't have to have the angles that are here. We're going to change angles. We're going to create landscaping areas where they can put more plant material, trees, things like that to give it more interest. So you're going to really upgrade the landscaping Definitely here too. It's more than just a retaining wall project. Right. It's going to be retaining walls and then plants on top of that. Fantastic. All right, Chuck Veenstra at Landscape Impressions. If you're retaining wall looks like this or maybe if you're just looking to create a point of interest or expand your landscaping give him a call he'll take his ideas in your backyard and transform it into a beautiful outdoor living environment Wow, isn't that transformation just amazing? It's incredible. I mean, the vision that they have, if you know nothing about landscaping, kind of like I, <laughs> I know nothing about landscaping, they really have an amazing vision that they can transform your entire yard into something really beautiful. Yeah, I can appreciate all the work that goes into that, but uh, I'm with you there. I'm not an expert in that. And uh, <laughs> creating retaining walls is just one area of expertise for Chuck and his team at Landscape Impressions, from creating fire pits and outdoor kitchens to adding any of those great water features that transform your yard into an outdoor living area which makes your home even bigger. That's right. And they've got great affordable ideas for every budget and every imagination. Check them out online or give them a call. Two great locations on 68th Street in Caledonia and on Patterson in Wayland.